Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, long time since um, old Murdoch's had some love. It is. Because he's he's been... Just a trooper, isn't just he? Just a trooper. He's an absolute trooper. As all the other cars felt a bit, he always steps up to the plate and takes me home. <laughs> yeah, he does, he does. So Murdoch's in uh, for his long overdue glow plug and injector change because we believe that that is what is causing the smoke on startup nothing too major but we also don't think they've ever been done so this could get interesting let's hope fingers crossed yes. it doesn't um this vehicle's done 200 and 273,000 kilometers. kilometers yep so and we're pretty confident they've never been out no we're confident they're, they've got a bit of oil around them so they're definitely leaking so they're due a change um but what we're going to do is start uh dismantling which is fairly simple is mainly taking off this uh, intercooler on the top so uh, we'll get that off now right so our first little job is to disconnect the battery so dad's on that now um, and whilst he does that I'm going to start disconnecting all the bits for this intercooler which is size 10s one here one here one here and one here well they all tens they are Got it. So on mine I've got clamps here and here. This one's a size 10. So I'll start with this one, just to remove the pipe. And in here I've just got a little size 7 on this clamp to take off. And then just before we remove it, we'll also have to disconnect the fan plug. Right, and the fan plug is just here, and it's a little pinch job and a pull. Done. There we go. So we should hopefully be off. That's it. There we go. Nice. Now all of these fuel lines are connected together with the clamp on the bottom here which we'll have to undo so that when we take them off individually they'll have a bit more play because as they're all cabled you can see clamped together they won't move anywhere so we're going to have to undo these little bits to release some of the pressure. There you go. Right it's coming off there you go. Right there's number one off. go. I'll just quickly show that. You can see it's this clamp here with these two size 10s on. So right, we've got our magnet kit. Got him. Yeah. Well done. Ah, missed him. <laughs> there we are. Well done. That will have him. <laughs> right, so that's all the fuel lines. Look, you see there's a little bit more play already in those. Um, now our main focus is getting the tops off of these. So we don't obviously want to leak fuel everywhere so we'll take them off and have a rag around them but hopefully once we take the top lines off then we can take off there's a secondary locking nut that holds a line that connects them all together and then we should be able to take that off and undo them all individually so let's see how it goes Ow. Ow. Ah. Well, at least it came off no elbow, but it came off. Ah. Right, so I suppose... I'm not sure where the stuff is, to be honest. No. If, well, there, there's enough mess anyway. Yeah, it does. it's not really going to make a lot of difference, is it? There we go. Right, fuel line. They, they seem... Um, well, that's that. Look, you see, they unscrew like that and they're just popped in. Well, if we pop them out, they might leak fuel. So, yeah, so let's leave we'll them. wait until we've got them all disconnected. Right. Got him. Yeah? Yep. Which Wondering is whether we should lose him. Lose him. Uh, from here. Well, it's, it's worth it because we don't want to break it. No. So what we're going to do it is... It looks uh, flimsy. Yeah. So you see we've got this... It's so flimsy that just popped out of there. Got it. Oh, nice one. That one was nice and simple. Look, we just got a little. Oh, hang on. Let's uh, help you can see. This plug we've taken off just from down here is a simple little push job. Actually, looks like it's cracked. Doesn't look like I did anything pushing that, but we're moving those just out of the way because they're flimsy little wires and uh, we don't want to accidentally hit them with a spanner or, a, or anything similar. There we go. Elbows clear. He didn't uh, come off much, no. Wicked. Start with the 17mm socket 
and this is an extended socket so for spark plugs and things like this so that slots on the top and we're taking off this little nut first so what we'll do is we'll just crank him loose like so pop that down and that should come off like so there we go give that to dad right that's number one off and then we'll move down the other two three sorry <laughs> move down the other three and then take off this connecting line there we go thank you bud okay so now we've got the line that connects them all which you can see is here these nuts now what this should do is uh, just lift off as such little by little I think is the answer him off that's looking positive Oh, hey. I think I'm there. You're up. Right, if mm -hmm. I get... I think it's... That's it. It's up. All the way up. I don't know. I'm stuck on him now. Okay. And him is free there. Right, he's out. This end's got to come off. That's it. He's out. Right, that's got it. Him. If we can get him to just hang down. That's it. Out the way there. Okay, so the connecting line, we've just managed to pop it off and hang it down. You can see it's just sort of pushed down below out the way of the injector. So what we'll do is we'll work on this end one, get it out and check 100% that it's the right injector. Okay, so our socket here is a 22 and there's a cutout around the injector here, which is perfectly round for the socket to go in. So it slots in like that, look, and over. So it gives you a nice even turn, I suppose, so you can't jam it one Best side. Of luck. Thank you. So I'm going on. There we go. Right, let's see. I'm going to try and gauge how much pressure they're under. Let's see. A lot. A lot is our, is our answer. Mm. Tight. I'm going to start just gently with the impact and work my way up to hopefully try and loosen it up without any catastrophic issues. Right, level one. Let's try two. Bummer. Okay, let's try number what three. Got? I suppose we got to, didn't we? Right. Bingo. Right, nice and gentle on there. Right, let's try and not get too much muck in. Yes, oh dear Ooh, they're filthy. Okay, let's inspect the injector. It's bollock to me, he's got the little injector bit at the bottom. Yeah. Um, they look identical spacing. They do. So there, you can see, hopefully it'll focus. There we are, that's the old injector there. You can see. Okay, so there's the injector hole, you can see there. With a lot of crud. Show you. So, uh, a weeder from a past life, that's something if you're doing um, sign writing. Yeah. Uh, so that was hard to get, but that nips under and picks it out, but it's very crushed. It is. So it does need changing. Right, now right inside the hole where the copper washer sits, I'm using a socket attachment and a piece of blue uh, rag. Right, that's clean. Right, okay, now you can see here included in our kit, we've got the three new washers. Now we've removed the old injector, and if I can show you there, hopefully that'll focus. You can see that there's a, a sort of burnt black ring in there, and now what that is, is this first washer at the bottom here actually seals the injector and spaces it away. It's called, some I've seen they call them the heat protection washer, so it stops the injector from getting cremated as such in there and spaces it away correctly. So that's the first one, and then that one goes in secondly, and then that one obviously seals the fuel connecting rail. Which won't come off the old one. Which won't come off the old one on the top. So that is a very, very important washer, and the injectors we got actually didn't come with this kit, so I'm glad we bought that as well. So let's get over to the car and get that in. And they are OEM washers. So we're a little bit nervous of the 
first washer going in, aren't we? Because it's, it's very. So we've decided whether this is right or wrong, but we've decided that we're going to place it in with these tweezers. So once it's in, we should be able to just do that, and that is it. Yep. And just for reference, it's going to go the other way round. The rounded edge is going to go down, and the flat edge will be facing up like that. So like that. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. And, and right. that should be easier to get hold of. As yeah. Well. So that's theoretically how we're you're yeah, going to do it. Well, so. your eyesight's better than mine. Well, let's give it a crack. How hard can it be? Right, so washer, you can see there, I'll try and get it a bit better so you can see that it's rounded on one side, flat on the other. Now I'm going in rounded side down. There's a slight little notch inside the head, which we're going to try and get on film. I'm going to keep a bit of pressure on the tweezers to keep, them, keep it spaced out best I can, um, which isn't actually going to be so easy. But that should just go. Let's, hopefully you can see that. Into a dark... Into a deep, dark abyss. There we go. You can see that there. Clear as a bell. Nice it's done. seated nicely there. And now it's time for... And ours didn't have those. Ours didn't have that before, no. And we had the leap in the smoke. We did. So we can live in hope that this will be the cure. So next one, I'm going to keep it roughly the same, um, I'm going to drop in this big copper washer, you can see here which goes in secondary, goes through the threads and then we can drop it in there and one thing I'm just going to do is just check that that's nicely flat in there, make sure that that's nice and done, not caught on a thread. So that's it, it's now time to get the injector in. Right, it's time to get this lovely new injector in. So what we're going to do is pop that in there like so and make sure that it goes in mostly by hand. You can see there. And it should be nice and easy. Get that in. That's us there. Right, and now I've got my trusty torque wrench, be careful not to damage any of the threads on top of the injector. And this is going to get torqued down to 55 newton meters. So you want to be nice and gentle on it until you get there. Because those copper washers are going to get uh, compressed. There we go, hit the resistance. Perfect. And there we are, injector one installed. Now I forgot to mention it on camera, but we're installing these last washers on top of the injectors for the fuel return line to sit on top. So we're going to start by placing them all on. And what we're going to do is try and get this devil, hopefully you can see, just push that down evenly across the board. <laughs> it's not. There we go. That's, that's as down as it's going to go. So what we'll do is get the little nuts now and put them on. Yes, there is a way they go. So there's writing on one half which should face up and a flat flush side to go down. So we'll do that. Sorry, so that? That's the writing side, so have that up. up. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is just go around and make sure it's all nice and flush before I torque it down. Just literally finger tightening these down. It's one. Two. Three and four. And now I'll get the torque wrench. Right, here we go. So 27 Newton meters. Which isn't much, is it? It's not at all. It is only a copper washer, and I suppose it can't be crushed too much because fuel's got to go through it. Just check those, make sure. Perfect. Nice. So if you if you lift it up and put the end in, look like that. Yeah. And then slide it on and just so the fuel lines look, they just get pushed on like so. Like that. And then the end gets tightened on like that. Right, now these beggars don't have a torque setting. These are just nice and snug on here. Done. What are we saying on the yoga dugger then? I'm going 
not barely even one ugga dugga. I mean, it's a whoa, whoa. Just a whoa, whoa. Yeah. You'll be able to feel it when you tighten them up. Don't go mental. They're only. You can always tighten them. You can always tighten them more. If fuel can start squirting out, tighten them a bit more. And uh, so just before the end, look, we've got these little clamps that hold the fuel lines together. We're not going to do that because we're going to leave them off. Um, just in case we need to put something through or whatever when we do the glow plugs in the next video. So now's your time to put those back on if you've done the job. And that's, and that's all. It. Right, so that's that. Uh, thank, thank Lord yeah, that it all went you. well yes. because uh, we were a bit nervous for this job. It's the first time we've done it. I've done it on the Mercedes when I put the engine in, but they were very, very different to these. They had clamps and things that held them down. These ones were sort of just you got to take them out. And the Merc was easier. The Merc, I think, was easier. But uh, yes, a great job done. And uh, we shall see if the smoke on startup stops. So that'll be a separate video, I'm sure. So thank you guys for watching. And please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.